Hey guys, Pig here, and today I'm going to be walking you through my hotkey setup for Zerg in StarCraft Remastered. Of course, you may have heard that you can customize your hotkeys in StarCraft Remastered, but there is a limitation. It's not as advanced as something like StarCraft 2. You cannot change camera locations or your control groups. You're stuck using 1 through to 0 and F1 through to F8 for those camera locations. What we can change though is everything here in front of us. I'm going to be walking you through my setup. Of course, you can choose different keys to me. But I have done a nice setup where I follow the philosophy of grabbing all the hard to reach hotkeys on the right hand side of the keyboard, bring them over to the left hand side, make them super easy to reach. I've also tried to make sure there's no accidental clashes where you're accidentally upgrading things when you're trying to do something else. Uh, and trying to make it so you can build structures as easily and quickly as possible. So let's dive right on in. We're going to start with your unit producing hotkeys. Now, a few of these I've left the same. The big ones that I've changed are Overlords, I've taken from o, uh, o, moved all the way over to V. Hydralisks, I've taken from H, I've put them over on Q. This is a unit you're spamming all game long, that's a super easy to touch hotkey. Mutalisks, I've brought a lot closer from M over to T. Scourges, I've left on S, Defilers, I left on F. The Queen, I've actually deprioritized. I gave its hotkey to the Hydralisk and I've put it back on H because it's a very rare unit. You will very, you'll almost never use it. It's really, really niche spellcaster. Uh, and of course, Ultralisks, I took from U. I've moved all the way over to R, which funnily enough is also my Ultralisk cabin hotkey as, uh, as we'll find out if we click on the drone, which is next up. Ultralisk cabin hotkey, R. Make that way easier to reach. Uh, otherwise, in the Advanced Structures tab, I've left them the same except for the Nidus Canal, which I've changed from N, terrible to reach, to F. Makes that super easy. Other than that, basic structures, I've actually left all the same, even though they're not the easiest to press, uh, I, I, you know, uh, necessarily. The big one I wanted to change was just hatcheries, because I figured, uh, H is a little bit awkward to press. You know what? Let's put hatcheries on W because this pairs up really well with another little customization I've done. Probably should have mentioned this before I mentioned the customized hockeys. Check it out. Build basic structures. I've changed from B and V for advanced to D for basic and F for advanced. Now, why have I changed these? Just to make it even easier to reach. The less, less time my hand's moving across the keyboard, the more actions I can do. You know, little things like this where B and V were never that hard to press with in the first place, you don't need to do. But if you're someone like me, just wants things to be just that little bit easier, a little bit more efficient, why not? Of course, the one thing I wanted to make when I was customizing the hotkeys, the ones which I was willing to change up, was trying to make sure it's two separate fingers touching it. So if you can imagine, if you look at your own keyboard right now, if you press D with one hotkey, W with another hotkey to build the hatcheries, you're going to be using your index finger for one hotkey, select the, the menu and the middle finger to press the hatchery. Super friggin' easy, it's beautiful, it's great, makes things very nice. Let's move on down to buildings, guys. Oh, one more thing, sorry. Not, not buildings, units first. I've changed patrol to X. You need to use patrol a lot like A move in, in Starcraft, uh, Re Starcraft Brood War. You need to use it to, to target individual units as well. And of course, reaching over to P is a nightmare. So I've put that on X because that's super easy for me to just duck down my middle finger and just go X, X click, X click. Use that for focus firing with mutalisks and that sort of thing. I've also changed burrow from U to R, same with unburrow, just bringing that nice and close to make it easy to use. Morphing hydralisks into lurkers, that's a big one. Screw reaching over to L, let's put that on E, nice and easy. From there, I've left all the spells the same because they're all pretty logical and reasonably easy to reach. I've changed the unload key. So if you want to unload your overlords, rather than reaching all the way over to you, which is the default, we've put that on D. Same as StarCraft 2, very simple, easy to reach. Haven't changed many of these other hotkeys, queen spells, all identical to what they always have been. Most of that stuff has all just been left the same. So just changing a couple of those things to make it nice and easy. All right, down to the buildings, guys. Now I've changed upgrade layer to X and upgrade hive to X, just making that nice and easy to reach. If you choose, when, if you want to customize this hotkey, it's important though to remember that you need to choose one that doesn't clash with your units. What do I mean by units? I mean these ones, the, the hotkeys you use to produce units off lava. Because otherwise, when you're scrolling through your hatcheries, if you select lava and try to say, build drones, your drones are on X, uh, but you don't have any lava, you're accidentally going to be upgrading hatcheries into lairs and lairs into hives. So you've got to make sure there's no clash between these hotkeys and this hotkey or this hotkey. 
So make sure they do not clash. Other than that, I followed a philosophy of QWER. So just having all my upgrades on that top line of my keyboard along the QWERTY line. So we see Evo Chamber, QWE, pretty much all of these structures, it's the same. There's upgrades on all of them. QWE throughout, it's just that same, same idea. Uh, sunken Colony. Upgrade is by default U, terrible to reach. I've put that on D for static defense to make that way easier. Other than that, we've just changed the Nidus Canal exit to F to make it the same as build the Nidus Canal, make it way easier. And uh, that's about it. All of these, it's just that same QWER. So I've gone through all of these structures and changed the upgrades to just that same format. Uh, of course, you can use whatever makes sense for you. You don't need to use that as long as they're nice and easy to reach. And uh, finally, lastly, the most important thing in the game, training infested Terrans, which you'll almost never do. But if you do happen to build a queen, that very rare unit and uh, infest, I believe it has to be like a red a red or orange hit point Terran command center, then you can build suicide bombing infested Terrans out of it. And uh, rather than press I for that, which is a crappy hotkey, I've made it A, just like building Marines in StarCraft 2. So uh, guys, this is my little guide for how to change your hotkeys, how to make them nice and accessible. If you guys think I missed anything or you've got your own special customizations which you think make things easy, let me know what they are. Um, it's, it's pretty straightforward because you're not really changing anything fancy like control groups. You just go through and you just make everything easy to reach and something which is easy to remember for you if you're a new player to StarCraft Remastered. So hopefully this helps you guys out, whether you're blindly just copying exactly what I just showed you uh, or if you're going to actually, you know, just take the same philosophies and kind of apply it in your own way. Either way, good luck, have fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy StarCraft Remastered. I'm having a lot of fun with it. There's a Protoss and a Terran video on hotkeys who are also which also will be coming out very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video for more content. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hug a watermelon, kick a walrus, and of course, punch a cactus to the moon. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and good night.